Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys um, an approximate uh, location where the uh, nearest cell tower is um, from me where we actually live at. Um, so I'm not actually going to be showing you guys, you know, where I actually live at, um, but I'm actually going to be showing you guys the tower, um, in the vicinity that we live at, um, in South Jersey here. Um, so this is actually for, you know, uh, like purposes of T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, I'm going to, you know, show you guys the tower and, you know, talk a little bit about it, um, and just talk about, you know, um, where it's actually, you know, located in mileage away from me and stuff. Um, and stuff like that. Um, so let's actually get into this video. So the first thing I'm actually going to use here is an app called Cell Mapper. Um, it's actually free. You can find it on the, on the Google Play Store or on the Apple App Store. Um, so I'm actually going to open it up here. I actually already do have it uh, actually opened in the background here. Um, so as you can see here, um, I'm in uh, Perkintown, New Jersey, in Pedricktown, New, Jer New Jersey. Um, and as you can see, um, I, I have, you know, it mapped out here. It shows me, um, where the tower is actually at. Um, so I'm actually like somewhat over here, um, in, uh, Perkintown, New Jersey on Perkintown Road, um, in Pedricktown, New Jersey. Um, I'm not going to actually say, you know, where I'm at, you know, what house or, you know, zip code or anything like that. Um, so that's where I'm at right there is in Perkintown. Um, so, uh, the tower is actually on a road over from me. Um, it's like a mile or so, um, down the road from me, so it's not really that far. Um, so that's actually right here, if you can see right here. Um, I just zoomed in, that's the actual tower. Um, so it's definitely not that far from me, but that's actually the only one, um, that we actually have close to us. Um, so the bad thing about that is if this tower goes down, um, it doesn't really go down very often. I've never had it go down, um, you know, too often around here. Um, but if it go, if it does go down, um, then it's going to switch us to a further away tower. So our speeds are definitely going to be, um, you know, affected because that's the only tower um, that's actually close to us, you know, that close to us. Um, and this tower is also by, um, like, a main interstate, too, so it does get a lot of, uh, you know, traffic from the, from the interstate. Um, so that's why sometimes we do actually notice slowdowns um, with the T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, but, you know, ever since I've gotten the Chester Cheetah version 2 uh, gateway or Wi-Fi modem, whatever you want to call it, um, I haven't actually been having those slowdowns like I used to. Um, I also have the waveform antenna, the waveform 4x4 uh, antenna up in the attic facing toward this tower. Um, so let me actually click on the tower and show you guys some information about it. And as you can see here, you know, it gives me a whole bunch of information. Um, it gives me the, uh, you know, the MCC, MN, MNC region. Um, it gives me the bands. It says 41. Um, it says first seen date 10-10-2022. Uh, last seen date, it says 12-8-2023. Um, it says uh, type macro, um, approximate address, um, which is actually on Strawn's Mill Road. Um, it says Oldman's Township, Salem County, New Jersey, United States. Um, and then uh, if you go down here, it says located by, um, and then and this is actually a user, I guess, that actually, uh, you know, uh, put this tower um, on here. Um, so it says located by, this is Chuck01. Um, it says location deletion history, you know, you can view that. Um, you know, contributors, and it says, um, you know, three different names here, so I guess these are people from around here, um, that actually put this tower on the Cell Mapper, uh, website, um, which is a good thing, you know, so I could find it. Um, last generated, it says Wednesday, December 13th, 2023, um, you know, you can add data to it, I might actually do that, I might actually update it some, um, it, sell, it tells you the cell identifier ID, uh, system subtype LTEA, um, you know, bandwidth 20 megahertz, um, you know, maximum signal 74 dBm, uh, direct, direction uh, northwest, which is actually a good thing to know, you know, so I can uh, actually, you know, point my 
antenna toward it. It is all actually already pointing toward it. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, it says first scene, you know, like I said up there, um, you know, it, give, it just gives you a bunch of stuff. It uh, gives you frequency bands, um, you know, downlink frequency, uplink frequency, uh, actions, um, cell identifier, you know, stuff like that, system subtype LTE, um, you know, direction, you know, it gives you the directions, um, stuff like that. So it's just, you know, giving me information, you know, that, that is, you know, somewhat useful, um, you know, to me, especially, you know, where it's actually pointing you know, where it's actually, um, you know, the direction of it, um, you know, and that's where I have my antenna, the waveform antenna, Northwest, um, 323, so, you know, that's, you know, a really good thing that I can come on here and I can see that, um, so, um, I'm, I'm, you know, not really sure, uh, what bands this actually does support, um, it actually says right here, it says, uh, it says bands 212, 66, and 71, um, and I'm not actually sure what that 49183 means. I'm, I'm guessing that that's like a, uh, let me actually click on it again and see if it says, um, doesn't actually say. So that, that might be like some other kind of bands. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Um, it says, uh, it actually says max, uh, average UL speed, 7 Mbps. So that's not really that good. Um, and then it says for the upload, I guess that's for the download and the upload. Uh, they both say 7 Mbps, so, um, if, if that's actually for the upload, then that's actually not that great, and I've actually told you guys about that, um, you know, that, that the upload speed is not really that good around here, um, but, you know, that's, that's basically the video, guys, I just wanted to get this video out there, um, I wanted to show you guys, you know, the tower that's actually near us, um, you know, that's actually really the only tower that's actually real close to us, um, other, <coughs> excuse me, other than the ones over here, you know, these are by, like, the freeway, um, and these are by, you know, like, uh, the interstates and stuff, um, <coughs> you know, obviously, when you get out, um, you know, further, you're gonna have, you know, towers further away, um, but those, those towers are further away from me, you know, they're, like, by, uh, the interstate and everything, um, you know, as I zoom in here, you know, you can see, um, you know, that that's the only tower, um, you know, near us, you know, so that's, you know, basically, you know, the video, I just wanted to get this video out there, um, and let you guys know, you know, that we only have one tower near us, um, so, you know, it's not, it's not necessarily a bad thing, um, because it's actually better to have only one tower near us, and I'll tell you why, um, because some people, um, actually have told me that if you have multiple towers, um, near you, that you can have problems with it trying to switch to another tower, um, and that's definitely true, so you gotta keep that in mind, um, you know, that the more towers that you have, um, it's gonna try to go, um, you know, connect to the stronger signal, especially if you have a, uh, a, a stock T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway, um, I have a Chester Cheetah version too, so I can lock bands, um, so I don't really have to worry about that, um, but for people that have a, uh, you know, a stock, uh, internet gateway, um, you know, whether it be T-Mobile or anything else, Verizon, AT&T, um, but say you have, like, multiple towers, like, out here, um, like, if I go out here, um, like, say there's two towers right next to each other, like, right there, for example, um, if you, if you have towers that are that close together, um, it's gonna try to, you know, fluctuate, it's gonna fluctuate, um, and it's gonna go, you know, it's gonna try to connect to the strongest tower, um, and sometimes that's not always the case, sometimes it'll try to connect to that, um, and it'll, and it'll actually give you slower speeds, um, compared to, um, you know, only connecting to one tower, um, you know, like I was showing you guys over here, um, so, you know, that's basically the video, guys, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a, um, you know, a look-see with this, um, you know, obviously I'm not showing you guys where I actually live at, um, but, you know, um, I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, that that's how I have my setup, um, I actually have it connected, uh, to the waveform antenna, the Chester Cheetah version 2, um, and I have the waveform antenna actually facing right out the attic window, um, 
you know, to this tower. Um, so that's why I'm actually getting a lot better speeds. Um, and not only that, I'm band locking. I have like three bands locked in. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm averaging right now, you know, like 500 to 600 in speed for download. Um, and sometimes like 20 to 30 for upload. So that's definitely not bad at all. Um, you know, for a cell phone carrier, definitely not bad at all. Um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this video out there. Um, I'll definitely be making more videos, you know, in the coming days or so. I might make some tomorrow or later tonight. Um, I'm actually going to be watching the Flyers game that's coming on at, at around 7 o'clock. It's like 5.48 right now. Um, so I might not make any, any more videos today. I'm not so sure. Um, I might make some later and maybe do some speed testing um, or something like that after the game. But um, I'm just going to probably relax for the rest of the weekend or maybe tomorrow. Um, I might get some other videos out. But, you know, like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a look-see, you know, about my area, um, you know, with the uh, T-Mobile 5G home internet um and not only that but you know for the cell tower itself you know for my cell phone um you know that's the tower that we have near us you know that's the tower that um you know my phone is connected to my mom's phone is connected to um you know and my uh my t-mobile 5g home internet is connected to so um let me actually see if it does actually tell me how far it is from me um let me see here it's not actually telling me that. Um, I don't think I actually see it here. Um, I, I believe that it's only like a mile or so from me. I'm pretty sure. Um, let me see. Go to sell. Um, so that doesn't actually tell me. So the, la the last time I checked, it was only like a 1.5 miles or something. So that's definitely not far at all. Um, and that would, you know, that would definitely, you know, be why we get 500 to 600 for the download speed because it's definitely not that far at all. Um, you know, so it definitely looks like it's like only like a mile, um, you know, from me. So it's not, you know, it's definitely not far at all. So I'm not, you know, really that worried about it. Um, you know, because we're getting really good upload and download speeds. Well, you know, decent upload speeds, not, you know, really good, but, um, you know, really good, uh, download speeds and ping. Um, so that's all I really worry about. You know, like I said, I'm not really much worried about the upload. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it does improve. I'm hoping that it does, um, you know, get better in the, in years time. Um, I'm sure it will. Um, but, you know, I'm not really that worried about it because, like I said, we get 20 to 30 upload, um, you know, and that's not really that bad. I actually get worse on my cell phone um, with the upload. So, you know, I'm I'm happy that we get 20 to 30, um, you know, with the T-Mobile 5G home internet. That's definitely usable um, for just me and my mom. Um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this video out there. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.